Scotland's leading marine energy businesses are now serving markets within the UK, but also worldwide. The markets in front of them include powering, offshore, subsea and surface equipment, electrifying the ocean's basins and helping to liberate AUVs and SUVs that themselves will help to decarbonise the offshore sector. The cost of capital for the projects will reduce and they will be regarded as just normal parts of the energy mix. What was once new offshore wind is now standard. Marine energy will follow exactly that curve. The emerging market pool for marine energies has created a community of first investors from supply chain and end users. The resource around Scotland is such that projects that deploy in Scottish waters will receive significantly greater returns because that strength of that resource, the power output from those devices will be such that projects will become much more economic earlier than perhaps other locations. As the sector moves towards commercialisation, both WAVE and Tidal developers are recognising that Scotland is the place to test their technology, both with the policies, the supply chain support and the test infrastructure. So having this innovation cycle in place really allows companies, irrespective of where they are in their innovation journey, to re-enter this innovation at any point, making sure that they can increase their performance, enhance their reliability, drive down their overall costs and remain competitive. There's a huge amount of resource and more resource, arguably, than what Scotland needs. So therefore we do need to look at what are the wider opportunities for that power. The economics of projects being delivered in Scottish waters really will excel um, and give projects real rapid return. The prize is huge. There's a vast global market for wave and tidal energy. The more technology we demonstrate and deploy, the better economies of scale we'll reach. Costs are coming down already, and the more we learn and do, the further these costs will fall to become competitive with other forms of renewables. We can provide insight into the sector and its markets, we can provide evidence of technology performance and we can provide tours or introductions to technologies and facilities. Scotland can really offer the full package when it comes to commercialisation of the industry. We've got the technology, we've got the experience, we've got the skills and we've got the communities who are ready to receive this. The whole marine energy sector in Scotland, including the companies, the institutions, the government, the supply chain, is collaborating to produce an investable commercial proposition. The time's right to take your first look or a fresh look at the marine energy sector. Scotland's marine energy businesses are ready to take the next step. They're ready to commercialise.